The discussion about where Bruce fits into Brookhaven and why he was such an important addition to our team is, is really his vision for what he wanted to do with junior golf. To be able to tie the relationship of two things that are so vastly different between golf and martial arts and, and bridge that gap with discipline, come up with the idea of black belt junior golf, I definitely feel like I'm an innovator. A lifelong enthusiast of the martial arts. Bruce Smith holds a third-degree black belt in Taekwondo, but his expertise comes with a disclaimer. You do not want to get hit by one of those kicks. That's why I like to stay in close when I fight him. <laughs> and get a little closer to the ball. Feet close together. There, now play your shot. That's much better. He gets him out here, and yes, he works on skills, and he works on specific programming but he's really trying to teach them how to be good kids. How are you supposed to talk to your parents and, yes, and mom at home? Yes sir, no sir, no ma'am, yes ma'am. How are your grades in school? Straight A's. Ever made a B? No sir. Since becoming Brookhaven Country Club's PGA Director of Instruction last year, Bruce's Black Belt Junior Golf Program has attracted more than 100 kids. We measure progress. You know, very similar to belts in Taekwondo, obviously we use the hats. His students graduate through the hat system by reaching a target score, passing a rules test, maintaining their grades in school, and helping out at home. Mr. Hudson Bercier has met all the requirements for his green hat test for the Black Belt Junior Golf Program here at uh, Brookhaven Country Club. So he's going to be able to, uh, to graduate from yellow hat up to green hat. So go ahead and remove your yellow hat off your head. Congratulations. Very good, buddy. That's for you. And your yellow hat's for yours to keep. Be sure you discard your trash in the right place. Good job. I'm proud of you. But in Smith's plan, accomplishment goes hand in hand with taking ownership of mistakes and mishits. A uh, little smother. Okay, give me five. This approach may be unusual, but no one can argue with the results. Jack Lemke, one of Bruce's oldest students, will head to Louisiana Tech next year on an athletic and academic scholarship. Always use mirrors to look at yourself and make sure that you're, you're getting in the correct position. A physical fitness fanatic, Bruce also teaches a golf wellness class at Brookhaven. I started working with Bruce on fitness and exercise. I really needed to get in shape and he challenged me and I've lost 33 pounds so far, and I'm still working on it. And now I'm more flexible. I'm playing a lot better golf, and I feel better. And then he's worked with me on my wedge game and taught me shots I've never known before. That a girl. Look how much better that is. Oop, made one. I made it. Always Very able good. to help his students, <laughs> Bruce felt helpless as his own daughter, Kennedy, suffered through a rare facial malformation she's had since birth. Searching for a solution, Bruce and his wife Kathleen talked with their doctors. They told us insurance will pay for all the medical part, but you know, there's a lot of cosmetics and stuff. And, and she's a little girl and it's her face. And who doesn't want to give their child every opportunity to have the best quality of life that they can have? And so one of the doctors came up to us and said, prepare for this to, to cost about $100,000 over the next couple of years that could have been 70 million dollars you know there was just there was no way so father and mother set up a foundation kisses for kennedy to raise money for the procedure and they scheduled a fundraiser golf tournament a problem arose though when bruce qualified for the 2004 pga championship at whistling straits the same week but dad met the challenge with some extra flights between dallas and wisconsin their story soon spread around the course, and a major championship became a major fundraiser. I remember playing in the first round. I'd come off the sixth green and was walking through the crowd. A number of the spectators were handing me 20s, 50s, 100s, saying, Four Kennedy, Four Kennedy, Four Kennedy. I reached into my pocket to pull a tee out of my golf ball, and the money's falling out all over the tee box. I'm picking that up, and I spot Kathleen kind of up on top of a sand dune. Had a hard time uh, holding back the tears there. 
Through their charity golf tournament and the donations of others, Bruce and Kathleen reached their fundraising goal. To date, Kennedy's had 10 surgeries, but none in the last two years, and is on the road to recovery. By the grace of God, we're at the very, very tail end of it and just have happy, healthy kids. The last four to six years of her life are extraordinary. She's literally the poster girl for facial, cranial, lymphatic malformations. And the doctors, all of them look at her and say that literally she's the miracle child. 